Sony A12 has been announced. Though we were hoping for A7 IV and A7 V more, it looks like Sony might be on the verge of releasing a tool that solves real-world filmmaking challenges rather than just tacking on flashy upgrades. The rumored FX9 II isn't simply about more pixels or bragging rights. It's about refining and evolving the tools cinematographers need to bring their stories to life. This isn't a pocket-sized marvel like the FX3 or FX30. The FX9 II is a full-size cinema camera that's meant to make a statement. Its predecessor, the FX9, already set the bar high with 6K oversampled 4K resolution and 16-bit RAW output, delivering cinematic image quality that left professionals in awe. It's no wonder the industry is watching closely as the FX9 II takes shape. Sony seems to be doubling down on practicality and innovation, focusing on what filmmakers actually need instead of adding features for the sake of competition. While resolution wars are all the rage, most filmmakers agree that usability and efficiency come first. One of the most talked about features filmmakers want is the elimination of frame rate crops. Switching frame rates without having to readjust framing or deal with unexpected cropping would be a massive workflow improvement. When you're in the middle of a shoot, such interruptions can break your creative rhythm. If the FX9 II solves this, it would immediately win the hearts of professionals everywhere. Another game-changing feature would be built-in ND filters. The ability to control exposure directly inside the camera without fumbling with external filters is invaluable. This is especially true for run-and-gun filmmakers or those working in unpredictable lighting conditions. While this feature is typically reserved for higher-end cinema cameras, it's one of the most requested upgrades, and for good reason. In-body image stabilization IBIS, is another area where filmmakers are hoping for improvements. While Sony's stabilization systems are already solid, there's always room for refinement. Enhanced IBIS could make handheld shooting more viable, eliminating the need for heavy rigs and making the camera more versatile for all types of projects. One filmmaker summed it up perfectly. Give me a camera that gets out of the way. That's what we're all looking for. Not the most complex gadget, but the smartest, most intuitive design. The FX9 II is expected to retain the tried-and-true E-mount system, a staple of Sony's lineup. This isn't just about convenience, it's about choice. The E-mount ecosystem is vast, with countless third-party manufacturers offering lenses for every imaginable visual style. Whether you're after vintage-inspired glass for a nostalgic look or ultra-sharp modern optics for crisp storytelling, there's a lens for every project. Even though Sony hasn't released new cinema lenses in a while, this robust ecosystem ensures that filmmakers won't feel limited by their options. The FX9 II will likely continue to support this flexibility, giving cinematographers the tools to realize their vision without compromise. Rumors suggest that the FX9 II might borrow its sensor from Sony's A9 III, which is known for its impressive latitude. For filmmakers, this means more flexibility in challenging lighting conditions, better dynamic range, and overall improved image quality. It's not just about more resolution, it's about better storytelling tools. That said, there's an ongoing debate about whether the FX9 II should include 8K capabilities. Personally, I don't see the need to shoot in 8K for most projects, but the added resolution could be a lifesaver for stabilization in post-production or for cropping without losing detail. It's not about chasing numbers, but about practical enhancements to the filmmaking process. If Sony does include 8K, they'll need to ensure it doesn't come at the expense of low-light performance or dynamic range, two areas where the FX9 already excels. The last thing filmmakers want is a trade-off that sacrifices core strengths for the sake of a headline-grabbing feature. Beyond the big-ticket items, 
there are smaller features that make a significant difference in day-to-day -day workflows. Dual base ISO, for instance, is expected to return, allowing filmmakers to shoot in a wide range of lighting conditions without compromising image quality. Similarly, programmable 3D LUTS can save hours of work by letting cinematographers preview their desired look and camera. Connection options are another critical consideration. The FX9 already offers extensive connectivity for external monitors, microphones, and focus racks, and the FX9 II will likely follow suit. These aren't just conveniences, they're essential tools that make a cinematographer's life easier. Of course, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. Price. The FX9 isn't cheap, with basic kits starting at around $9,000. This positions it firmly in the professional market, out of reach for many independent filmmakers. The big question is whether the FX9 II will maintain this premium pricing, or if Sony will introduce a more accessible version to appeal to a broader audience. Cameras like the FX30 show that Sony knows how to deliver incredible value at lower price points. If the FX9 II offers modular options or stripped-down configurations, it could attract both high-end professionals and ambitious newcomers. What makes the FX9 II so intriguing isn't just the rumored specs, but the philosophy behind it. It's not just another camera, it's potentially a tool designed to anticipate and solve the problems filmmakers face every day. From eliminating technical frustrations to enhancing creative freedom, the FX9 II could be a statement about what modern filmmaking should be. The conversations surrounding this camera highlight a profound shift in the industry. Filmmakers aren't just asking for better specs, they're asking for smarter tools that streamline their workflows and enhance their creativity. If Sony delivers on these expectations, the FX9 II could be more than a camera. It could be a catalyst for a creative revolution. For now, all we can do is speculate. Sony has yet to confirm any details about the FX9 II, but the anticipation is undeniable. If the rumors are true, this camera could redefine what it means to create cinematic stories in the modern era. When the FX9 II finally arrives, it won't just be another release. It could be a milestone in the evolution of filmmaking technology. And for cinematographers like myself, that's something worth getting excited about.